The novel and film Psycho stem from a true story. Author Robert Block lived not far from the rural Wisconsin crime scene. In his novel, timid Norman Bates has murdered his mother, keeping the corpse around for company. A generation later, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre wove another version of the tale. What happened was true. The most bizarre and brutal series of crimes in America. The family of unemployed butchers lures travelers into their den of horror, an isolated farmhouse filled with the remnants of past visitors. One of the lunatics, Leatherface, wears a mask made of human skin and prefers women's clothes. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. After you stop screaming... The truth is not only stranger than fiction, it is more appalling. The film which you are about to see is an account of the tragedy which befell a group of five youths. It is all the more tragic in that they were young, but had they lived very, very long lives they could not have expected, nor would they have wished to see as much of the mad and macabre as they were to see that day. For them, an idyllic summer afternoon became a nightmare. For 30 years, the files collected dust in the coal cases division of the Travis County Police Department. Over 1,300 pieces of evidence were collected from the crime scene at the Hewitt residence. Yet none of the evidence was more compelling than the classified police footage of the crime scene walkthrough. Test, test, test. Okay, uh, this is uh, August 20th, 1973. The time is uh, 3.47 p.m. Uh, location is the Hewitt residence um, on Route 17. It's where victim one was found. Uh, we're gonna do a walkthrough, and uh, we're now descending the stairs into the furnace room. Uh, there's, over here, there's scratch marks along the wall. There's some more over here. Along here, and oh, there's something over here. It seems looks like a clot of hair and a embedded hair now. All right, we're gonna go move into the uh, actual furnace room. Watch yourself. Look out. Oh man. Oh. Look out. You got it. All right. This is the actual furnace room. Going into where they expected to perpetrate it. Got a bit of a jump there. Right. Come on back here. Follow me. The crime scene was not properly secured by Travis County Police. Two investigating officers were fatally wounded that day. This is the only known image of Thomas Hewitt, the man they call Leatherface. The case today still remains open.